Hey guys, I'm FHRC Brony. Um, not too long ago, I actually made a video of my uncle's HPI Nitro Savage and did a review on it and gave it a Doug score. Um, since I was not very satisfied on the style I did it, um, I actually made a little bit of updates on the Doug score RC edition. So here are the some of the updates of the Doug score RC edition I made. First of all, what is the Doug score? The Doug score originated by a car vlogger on YouTube named Doug DeMiro in June 27, 2017, when he reviewed his final thoughts on his Range Rover. The scoring chart is separated into two categories. One measures its performance and styling, which is the weekend category. The other measures its quality and value, which is the daily category. My version of the Doug score is a little different than DeMiro's Doug score. In his version of the Doug score, each category is separated by 5 subcategories, which are worth 10 points each, which totals that category up to 50 points, or 100 points total from both categories. My version of the Doug score contains 2 categories which are divided into 4 subcategories, which are worth 25 points each, which totals up to 100 points per category, or 200 points total from both. So let's go over on the way I do my Doug score compared to Doug DeMiro's. The first category that we're going to be talking about is the Celestial category, which measures an RC car's performance and styling, which is the same thing as the Weekend category in DeMiro's Doug score. The left column is the top speed column. I basically give an RC car points depending on how fast they can go on top speed. 0 to 15 miles an hour will give it 1 point. 16 to 20 miles an hour will give it 2, 21 to 25 miles an hour will give it 5, 26 to 30 miles an hour will give it 8, 31 to 35 miles an hour will give it 10 points, 36 to 40 miles an hour will give it 15, 41 to 45 miles an hour will give it 20 points, and 46 miles an hour or more will give it 25 points. The next subcategory is acceleration. I give an RC car points based on how fast it can accelerate. If it's laggy, meaning once I pull the trigger of the controller, the car has this, uh, this jittery movement before it gets up to speed, that will give it from 0 to 10 points, depending on how laggy it is. If I feel that the acceleration is a little average, not the best, but not the worst, I'll give it between 11 points to 20 points. If the car has good acceleration, in other words, if I pull the trigger on the controller and the car just automatically goes as I want it to go, I will give it between 21 points to 25 points. The next subcategory is handling, which measures the car's driving characteristics. If I feel that the RC car's driving characteristics is poor, or in other words, it suffers from heavy understeer and body roll, I will give it a score between 0 to 10 points. If the driving characteristics is a little average, I will give it a score between 11 to 20 points. If the driving characteristics is to the point where it's really enjoyable, which in other words, precision is key, I will give it a score between 21 to 25 points. The final subcategory for the Celestial category is styling. If I feel like that this RC car looks cheap and it looks like the body is, is copied from another manufacturer, I will score it between 0 to 10 points. If the styling looks okay, not the best but not the worst, I will score it between 11 to 20 points. If the styling grabs a lot of attention from a lot of RC enthusiasts, I will give it a score of 21 to 25 points. There you guys go, that's the Celestial category. The next category that we're going to be talking about is the Lunar category, which measures an RC car's quality, features, and value. Keep in mind that money doesn't buy quality. For instance, you can have the nicest clothing for under $50 instead of the most expensive ones. Just like in the RC hobby, I judge an RC car's value based on performance and quality. If I feel that the performance and quality meets the manufacturer's suggested retail price, I'll give it a good score. The first subcategory is features, which measures the versatility of the car. If I feel that the car has like less versatility, like the car doesn't have a lot of features, I will give it a score from 0 to 10 points. If there is a decent amount of features on the car, I will give it a score of 11 to 20 points. 
if the RC car contains a lot of features right out of the box, it will get a score between 21 to 25 points. The next subcategory is the build quality. If I feel that the build quality is very poor, I'll give it a score between 0 to 10 points. If it's average, I'll give it between 11 points to 15 points. If the build quality is decent, I'll give it a score between 16 to 20 points. If the build quality is very strong, I'll give it between 21 to 25 points. The next subcategory is durability, which measures how well the car withstands under heavy bashing. If the durability is poor, I'll give it a score between 0 to 10 points. If the durability is fair, I'll give it a score between 11 to 15 points. If the durability is good, I'll give it 16 to 20 points. If the durability is strong, I'll give it a score between 21 to 25 points. That's the Lunar category. And that's it guys, that's my version of Doug DeMiro's Doug Score.